the mind flares spawn. Yeah. <laughs> but something's different. Hello and welcome to Bogrot. Now, kindly, gaze all your stuff. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. You do not give orders to me. I don't even need a bonus. Critical. Critical success. Uh, a true soul. Right, welcome to Bogrot. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. Or whatever you want to call it. It's your town now. <laughs> I want to come here. I want to talk to them because they are a massive help. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. <laughs> and what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. Hmm. I'll do you one better. I'm one of the absolute's chosen disciples. I'm gonna add a bonus just to just to be sure. <laughs> Guidance. Please do not fail. Yes! Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food. Not food. Friend. Friend. <laughs> I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute. Already God, I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. <laughs> Forget goblins. You should be fighting for me. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. I'll pay you in the flesh of the fallen. You'll you'll have your fill. Ah, uh, fail. A slip of the tongue. You meant to make a better offer, surely. Oh, but you do love to tease. You're quite elegant for an ogre. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Were I so lucky? I've seen few other ogres in these parts. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. I wish I could have gotten them. Alas, not so much as a nibble. Food? No, <laughs> not food. If we could only get them. That would have been amazing. Let's go rescue the druid. Look it, Claw! Sapper's here! Unless you got another reason to be here. Feck sight! Let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? Goblins don't come by the handfuls, but by the dozens. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Your leader summoned me. Shit! This is high! Okay, goodness. Holy crap. You? Well, guess we're in with all sorts these days. If you're here to see Draw Ragslin, you'll want to let him and the lads know you're one of us. There's a party on. Celebrating a raid, we are. You'll need to wear our war colours. Nice to have this across the mug. Ought to do it. You can't be serious. Go on. <laughs> I can't believe you did it, you stupid idiot. Go on, mate. Enjoy the festivities. You earned it. Hear my voice. Obey my command. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. 
Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my Energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws me. Okay. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this, this gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? You've got some explaining to do first. What is that thing you have? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. Why Baldur's Gate? What aren't you telling me? I suppose, if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There, you have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. You worship Shah, Climy. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. Your faith is your own concern, not mine. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. In future, I expect you to be honest. Let's leave it at that for now. Gladly. Here is our friend that we met at the uh, grove. <laughs> With fragulous crown and with scepter of braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. The inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblin kind had reduced them to cowering for penny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had. Let you collide. <laughs> Give him your rapt attention. You! Move on! Do as she says. Now. <clears throat> now, where was I? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, <laughs> I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, come choose, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Draw Ragslin. We play. We come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. <laughs> Not my problem. Chill runs down your spine. Lady Shah's twin and nemesis, the moon goddess Saluna, was once worshipped here. Yet this place clearly fell to ruins long before goblins infested it. What happened here? No matter. The truth will be revealed in time. You silently offer a prayer to Shah and her glory. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. 
pain shoots through your fingers. Wipe away the sweat from your brow. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Trickle gate vlaketh mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Persuasion. Advantage. I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Here we go. I came just in time. You are transforming. Hmm. Who the hell are you? Your salvation. And not for the first time. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Okay. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Take the hand offered to you. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Open your mind to the tap hole. It subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was, and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. But I have another one. If I can, uh, I can drop this. I don't need this. Two. Okay, two tadpoles available. I had to. Let's go! What do we what do we want? Force tunnel. Uh hmm. Concentrated blast. Call the week. I like that. Okay. Cool. We are much, much stronger now. Already told you to bugger off, didn't I? You have, and I'm telling you to mind your manners. Your blood runs quicker, feeding the gnawing absence at the center of your mind. Oh, but beg your pardon, true soul. At your service, of course. Why are you calling me a true soul? Well, because that's what you are, innit? One of them as hears our thoughts. And the voice of the absolute. Like Priestess Gut and Boss Ragslin. Gods, we even got a drow now. Who's in charge around We here? follow the absolute. And them she speaks through. At first, we thought it were just Priestess Gut and Boss Ragslin. Then the drow came along. And you and all now, I reckon. 
Go ahead, please. I'm sure you're expected. The Absolute is gathering us all together for something big, I reckon. Okay, so, uh, we can get the Priestess, we can get the Drow, and we can get, uh, what? Yes, give uh, God tough to crush it. The Tadpole lets us command the minds of others. An interesting power, indeed. But one that warrants further investigation. No, our only cause is to deny it. This power is just another symptom of disease, and every use will sicken us further. Such powers of manipulation could be useful, and if it makes our enemies more malleable, all the better. The principle holds, but the practice should be handled carefully. Now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Mm, why should I let you brand me? Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody will mess with you. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. Charged with magic? Perhaps that explains the ease with which these goblins submit to true souls. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Mm. Hold still. As pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Can we talk privately? This is a sensitive matter. Of course. Don't want this rabble interfering with true soul business. Let's go to my chapel. Ready to clear your head? Change of plan. I'm going to kill you. The Absolute will protect me. You don't stand a chance. Damn. Magic missile. Yes. Tormented. No choice but to keep going. Won't work. Okay. I know that now. This army. Army. No. No. Shit. Um. Use your lithid potential. Okay, we did it. Holy crap. Imagine if we didn't do that. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation, or your head. Walk away now. I won't warn you again. Relic, is this about, this is about the artifact, isn't that it? That artifact is an heirloom of my people. Likely she spilled Githyanki blood in order to steal it. This cannot stand. Heirloom, plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. So any ideas on how we settle this? The bad blood must be purged. A jewel come first light. You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? I love it. Get some rest, Lazelle. You'll need it. You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward! If anyone asks, 
I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. Shadow Heart, stop. You don't have to do this. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. We need her. Shadow Heart, give her a chance. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes. Instead of each other, they wouldn't stand a chance. So can we go to sleep now? Jeez. I almost feel too scared to go to sleep now. Go to bed. Yeah, we need to get him. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. By Vlacketh's blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. Dragonborn. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. Guess it doesn't matter what you are. You're a true soul. And that's good enough for me. He doesn't speak his next words. Yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Study cor the corpse. Was this the mind flare that tortured you? This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks is the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Um, leave before the mind flare can identify Your skull you. sizzles with Raxlin's displeasure. His mouth is still, but you hear his demand. I speak for the Absolute, and I say, you stay. I'm staying gone with the You ceremony. choke on black smoke as the Hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call deck Shulkok Hank. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Dig into Rag, uh, Ragslin's mind and control the interrogation. Yeah, we make it. Ragslin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Ragslin's voice, you ask, What were you doing in Faerun? What? What were you doing in Faerun? Ragslin scowls, shocked by his own words, and a jolt shoots through your skull. The creature speaks in visions. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Githamans, they know something. He is suspicious confused by the question that fell from his lips. You proceed carefully. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? Why were the Gith chasing that ship? 
You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Who is the Absolute? Who is... Who? Your no true soul. Persuasion. Please do not fail. Okay. Yeah, we make it. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses, silent once more. <laughs> no, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it! And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right! Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthara's the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Consider it done. Praise the Absolute. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you. Every hour that passes. A trinket. A tongue. A limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lad'll make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? I'm on a hunt of my own. I'm looking for a druid named Interesting. Helper. What do you know of this druid? I have orders to capture him. Uh, but we make it. If you were sent here to hunt him, perhaps you can help me. The druid makes his home in a nearby sanctuary where his followers worship a false god. I intend to find it and destroy it. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Luring her to the grove might expose her, provided you forewarn the tieflings. My patience wears thin, true soul. The hunt must begin. Nothing makes the blood hotter. Let's I hunt. would expect nothing less. Together, we shall burn it to the ground. I am and going to And when we her. destroy the trappings of this false god, the Absolute will reward us with such power. Do you have any leads? One. We captured a human who knows exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. I can be very persuasive. I'll visit the prisoner. Excellent. Be sure not to kill him before he talks. Kill all three leaders. Rescue the druid. So I've already killed the priestess. Already did. Killed her. And these two. Oh, that's Halson. See? He squealed! <laughs> he did it again! Keep your hands steady, three. <clears throat> again! Again! Make it squeal again. What the hells are you doing? We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock, I'll show ya. 
Let him out, I'll take care of the beast. Luckily, it's too... Oh, you're also... Uh, yes, uh, of course. The presence deep in your mind is awake, unblinking. This is it. A single word pervades your consciousness. Soon. But... But I want to hear it squeal. One. That's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. Sorry, sir. I'll open the cage for you. The bear sizes you up. Wary, but not yet attacking. Attack the goblins. Torment. <laughs> Ah, uh, really? Alice Rebuke. Who is it going to attack? A bear. Ha ha! Mess shit! He's dead, only the two wards. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature, or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I've been to the Emerald Grove. It is in danger. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. Yeah. <laughs> but something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? I don't know. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Tell me what you've learned about the tadpoles, or I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. He seemed to know a lot about this. Will you come with me to Moonrise? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. All right. How do I help? My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the Drow Minthara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Uh, having a shape-shifting bear druid at my site might make things easier. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. Stay may here, May Sylvanus then. guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Long rest.
Here we go. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. So what should I be doing? Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I thought you said you could protect me. From transforming into a mind flayer, yes. But that is not the only thing these parasites can do. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. So who are you? It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Tell me where I can find you. No, it isn't safe. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. That is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoy my content, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my, my future uploads. Leave a comment down below on any tips, tricks, questions, or concerns that you might have, or what choices would you have made differently? Like, this game has many choices, and not all of us choose the same thing, so what would you have chosen differently? If you could also please click that join button and join our memberships for some exclusive perks. If there is no join button, you can find the link to both YouTube membership and Patreon in the description below. The playlist link will also be at the same place. Now, if you're starting a YouTube channel or you have a YouTube channel and you're kind of struggling, I can recommend something to you that will help greatly. VidIQ is a great, great and amazing place where you can educate yourself, improve, make better videos and it's absolutely free they do have paid subscriptions and if you click the link in the description below then it will take you to their website now i have to add that if you do buy a subscription through them using my link i may get a small commission at no extra cost to you so if you really want that help go check out that IQ using the link down below and thank you for the support with that being said I'm going to give my current supporters the recognition that they deserve by putting their names in the credit roll if you'd like your name in the credit roll be sure to become a member so credit roll in three two one go alrighty then You'll find two things 
if you click on the video above, that is a suggested video for you. And if you want to see more of my content, the playlist of this series is the bottom one. So click either the top one or the bottom one. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.